Alright folks, so what we have here is some MXJO18650 IMR batteries and we're going to do a capacity test. But before we get started, why don't you grab yourself a nice cold drink, come on back and then uh, we'll get to business. All right, hopefully everybody made it back. Now when you take a look at these 18650 batteries and these types of batteries in general, it's important to realize that there are a lot of counterfeits or fakes on the market. So you want to pay close attention to not just the battery itself, but the packaging that it comes in. So let's go ahead, let's get these open and uh, see what we have. All right, so they're packaged in a box here. It has the warning label on it. There's two of them in there, and each one of these are packaged in a box, and that's a good sign. Oh boy, these are taking their time coming out, ain't they? So when they come out, you want to take a look at the battery, and you want to make sure that they look like pictures that you see on the internet. And they come with, these come with a uh, scratch off. So you go to a website, you scratch this off, there's a code, a one time use code. You type it in and, and uh, it'll tell you if it's legit or not. So these are IMR, which is actually the I stands for Lithium Manganese Rechargeable Battery, 18650, 18 millimeters across, 65 millimeters tall, and the O means that it's round. So you want to make sure that the, the, the font and the packaging of the battery match up. Let's go ahead and open up the second one. Now these types of batteries, the uh, lithium manganese, they're really good at making sure that they discharge power at an accelerated rate higher than like a lithium uh, uh, LCR or an ICR battery, li a lithium carbon battery. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw these on a uh, Fox Novo digital charger, the 4S, and we're going to measure the capacity of these batteries and see if they're up to what their claims are. Now this says uh, 3.7 volts at 35 amp hours. Now this is a burst rate. This isn't a continuous discharge rate. And burst rates really don't mean a whole heck of a lot. Now batteries like this will typically be used with a uh, flashlight uh, or some other kind of device like a vape, uh, like a vape device, a vape mod. And that's what I'm going to use these in. Um, they are not protected batteries, so whenever you charge these, you want to make sure that you're using a charger that has integrated circuit protection, has polarity protection, and then uh, whatever device you have, it's a good idea to make sure that it's regulated and has protection in it as well. So let's go ahead and let's put these in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, to charge these all the way up, and then we're going to discharge them at uh, 1 amp per hour, so at 3,000. This should take about six hours to dis to top them off, discharge, and fully recharge them. I'm not worried about it. Typically, I'll do a battery test like this. Let's see if we can get this uh, screen focused in here. There you go. You guys, you guys can see that. Now, typically, we'll do these types of tests. Sorry about that. I just want to make sure that it's uh, that it's coming in clear at uh, 0.5 amps per hour but uh, with a higher discharge rate battery I'm a little bit more comfortable doing it at a higher level so let's go ahead let's run this test and then we'll come back and see how it does alright and we're back sorry about the lighting up front uh, I have a window that has some sun coming in it right now and there's not much I can do about it also earlier in this video I talked about an ICR or LCR battery and I called it lithium carbon instead of lithium cobalt so sorry about that my mistake all right, this test took about eight hours, so it's a little bit longer than what I expected. Let's see if we can get this up here so you guys can see it. Let's see if I can get the zoom on it. And so what you can see is they both charge to 4.2. Uh, one is 4.21, one is 4.22, which is expected. And uh, they took uh, 3,123 and 3,158 uh, mAh, which is great. It means these batteries have, the, have exceeded the capacity that they're advertised for. 
So I'm pretty excited about that, and uh, this isn't the first time I've used MXJO batteries, but uh, I'm going to keep using them based off of this test. Thanks, everybody.